Day 9 Holy Mary, cause of our joy, listen to the joy in our heart. We have so much need of joy in a world given to simple amusement. Mary is its cause because for her the fulfillment of God's will was always the priority. Application not so long ago, a farmer appeared at the door of a convent with a bunch of grapes. Brother Porter, said the farmer, do you know who I want to give this bunch of grapes to? The best in my vineyard. To you. The Brother Porter blushed for joy. You really want to give it to me? Yes, because you have always treated me in a friendly way and helped me when I asked you. I would like this bunch of grapes to give you some joy. The brother porter placed the bunch of grapes well in view and looked at it all morning. It really was a marvellous bunch of grapes. At a certain point an idea came to him. Why not bring this to the abbot to bring him some joy as well? He took it and brought it to the abbot. The abbot was truly happy with it. But then he remembered that in the convent there was an elderly sick brother and he thought, I will bring him the bunch of grapes to lift his spirits a bit. And so the bunch of grapes moved once again. But it wasn't to remain in the sick brother's cell for long. In fact, he thought that the grapes would be a joy for the brother cook, who spent his days sweating over the stove, and sent them to him. But the brother cook gave the bunch of grapes to the brother sacristan, who brought it to the youngest brother in the convent, who brought it to another, who thought it would be good to give it to someone else, until from brother to brother the bunch of grapes came back to the brother porter. And the circle closed. A circle of joy. Rector Major's comment. On April the 3rd last, Pope Francis addressed Maltese youth in these words. My dear young friends, let me share the most beautiful thing in life with you. Do you know what it is? It is the joy of spending oneself in love that makes us free. But this joy has a name, Jesus. Included in this name is the reason why we give Mary the title, Cause of Our Joy. First of all, because through her obedient motherhood, she gave birth to the Lord Jesus and by doing so gave us back the joy that Eve took from us. And then, because she is the first to live in the style of the gift, she is a witness to the Church and ourselves of the truth of Jesus' words. There is more joy in giving than receiving. Mary is the demonstration, the concrete testimony that Chi accoglie la chiamata del Signore, la chiamata ad amare. Those who accept the call of the Lord, the call to love, see their heart filled with joy. Not only that, even Mary's relationships with people, the Gospel reminds us, generate joy, serenity. Like Mary's visit to Elizabeth, like the wedding at Cana. And this joy Mary spreads, also in the hearts of the saints. And in apparitions, where the encounter with Mary always generates not fear, but serenity, familiarity, it builds fraternity. Silesian Reference Many boys at the oratory carried with them the signs of insecurity, lack of self-esteem, 
of a great hunger for love and models to identify with, the result of a chronic lack of affection in their families of origin. And precisely because Don Bosco's availability as a father worked like a magnet for the boys he came across, they immediately became his children. They followed him, accompanied him, almost hunted him down, and he himself wrote, a special scene was when I left the oratory. Coming out of church, each one said, good evening a thousand times, but without detaching themselves from all their friends. I encouraged them, go home, it's night time, your parents are waiting for you, but it was useless. Six of the stronger ones, using their arms, made a kind of chair, a throne, which I could sit on. They would arrange themselves in rows, carrying me on the throne in their arms. Others went ahead singing, laughing and chattering all the way to the rondo. There they sang more songs, concluding with the solemn hymn, Praised Be Forever. Then there was deep silence and I could wish them all a good night and a good week. The boys in full voice replied, good night. I got down from my human throne and each one went home to his family, while some of the older ones accompanied me till I got back home. Testimony from the Silesian world. Un saludo a toda la familia Greetings to all the family during this novena to Mary Helper Christians. My name is Rogier del Nido, and I am the provincial coordinator for the Silesian Corporators of the Mary Help of Christians province in Spain. Since childhood, I have been a convinced devotee of Mary Help of Christians. It was my mother who brought me up in love for the Blessed Virgin. Mary feeds the vital joy and happiness that flows from my heart. We live in times when the world suffers wars, clashes, polarization, walls and barbed wire. We are witnessing the rise of racism and xenophobia that make hatred grow in our society. In the face of these events, the best form of resistance is our Silesian spirituality that flows from the joy of the transforming heart. Our vital optimism helps us to live happily each day with hope for the future. Fraternity makes us live with others, sharing work, family and apostolate. It is a spirituality of service and it is certainly a Marian spirituality that looks to Mary as it follows Jesus. As the identity charter of the Silesian family says, joy is a question of a not insignificant but profound gift since joy, rather than being a passing sentiment, is an interior power which is able to resist in the face of the difficulties of life. But for us Christians and Silesians too, all these signs of our spirituality are signs of identity. Pope Francis said that we need smiling Christians, not because they take things lightly, but because they are filled with the joy of God, because they believe in love and live to serve. Our Don Bosco too had holiness consist in being always joyful. Mother Mazzarello invited the sisters to always be joyful because it is the sign of a heart that loves the Lord very much. Why then do some Christians persist in worrying? For four years I have been serving the association on the provincial council and for many more years as a volunteer in the social work of Mary Help of Christians in Seville. And my experience is that joy and a friendly face make service a profound experience of spirituality of holiness. I would like to invite you over these days of the Novena to join in the revolution of Easter joy, laughing when you wake up, thanking God for a new day, smiling as a family like Mary did, smiling at work, at church with the young, the elderly, Every time you do this, you brighten the lives of those around you, sowing hope with a smiling face. This is what I have experienced when I have looked at Mary Help of Christians in every chapel and on every visit. Entrustment to Mary 
Welcome us unto your mantle, O Mother, and make us feel the joy that filled your life. Help us to understand that this joy is the sign of the presence of the Spirit of the Risen One. Help us to feel true joy, not mere enjoyment. The joy that is grounded in being your children, messengers of peace and hope in a world that has often forgotten joy. Instead, remind us of the rejoice that one day the angel said to you. The rejoice said to the shepherds on that holy night and to the women on the morning of the resurrection. Thank you.